G'day guys, we're out camping this week. Since my last Oztent video, we've bought the deluxe side panels and the deluxe front panel. So I thought it would be good to show you how we're using that. I can show you what I like about it, how to get the most out of it and who it's best suited for. So just to recap, we've got the RV5 and we've got the mesh floor saver. We've added the fly and now we've added the front and side panels. So we've done this progressively because of our needs and I'll explain that shortly. I spoke about the fly in the last video, but I didn't speak about how you get an extra bit of undercover shelter or storage for some other stuff. So stuff that you don't wanna take up real estate under your gazebo, but you'd prefer not to get wet. We've got firewood, canvas bags, now that things have been taken out of them, that sort of thing. So that's really handy to have too. Another thing we've got since last year is a second child. So our new son, he's in there sleeping, so can't talk too loud. There's plenty of better videos about how to set these up, but I will say to keep it simple, basically there's a zip that you start with and you start on the left-hand side from the inside of the tent for the sidewall. So I'd start over here and over here, and then you stand on the outside from the left to zip on the front wall. Apart from that, there's just Velcro straps going down the poles, and then there's elastic loops or fabric loops that you peg into the ground to keep it stable. The reason you'd get the side panels only is for a weather break or a privacy shield, basically creating a barrier for weather or a barrier from people seeing you. There's the doors on each side, so you can have just the fly mesh exposed, or you can have the fly mesh and the canvas done over. But I don't know why you'd have an open front and then just have these as mesh. I guess if you wanted partial shade or kind of a partial shelter from the sun or a bit of protection, then it would be good. But it kind of seems pointless to have a fly screen when the bugs are just gonna go around the front anyway. So I think most people that have just the sides, they're using it for privacy. So say you're uh, at a busy free camp near a beach or you're at a caravan park, you've got people right next to you. It's just one way to create a bit more extra privacy and enjoy this tent a bit more. When you add the front panel though, it becomes a different kettle of fish. You can enclose it in to a point where it feels like an indoor outdoor room. And that's what we're doing on this trip. So he's seven and a half months old and we've basically set up a little play area inside where he can roll around and we, we're pretty comfortable that he's not gonna get savaged by mosquitoes. Although don't be fooled, when you attach the front panel, you're not totally sealing in that area and getting another room over the tent. You get a storm flap at the bottom or a PVC flap and it's pretty much open at the bottom. So in heavy weather, in heavy rain, you're still gonna get things wet inside. So just be aware of that. You're creating an indoor outdoor room, but don't assume that it's gonna be waterproof in there. Although it's just a storm flap at the bottom and bugs will still get in overnight, it's a good spot if you've got someone, an extra with you and you put them on a stretcher or a swag. I think that's a really good way to use this space too. So it's just, a bit of extra capacity when you need it. The storm flap isn't waterproof in itself, but there's actually a few spots between the zips, like here, where I've, I've fiddled around with it, trying to make it come together at the end there, but I can't, so I think the actual poles at the end have been placed too far wide. So you gotta be a bit careful, a bit tricky. I'm sure I'm not doing it right. The mesh wall on the front has a single massive door, like the awning of the actual tent that you roll up. So we've rolled it up here. You can roll it up or you can actually create another awning off here. So if you had the side walls closed up with the canvas, but left this as a mesh front, you could put this out, have an outdoor area, and then have kind of an indoor area to store your, your luggage and your stuff and a bit of an overflow area before you then get to the sleeping area of the tent. And that'd be a really cool way to do it. What I don't like though, is that there's no eyelet for a peak on this smaller uh, awning. So you've only got just the flat awning down. I see now why with the tent, you only get the two poles and not enough to make the peaked sort of sidewalls of the awning or peaked awning. 
and that's because Oz10 want you to buy the side panel kits so you get the uh, two extra uprights as well as one spreader bar when you buy the side walls and then when you buy the front panel you get the final uh, lock in place spreader bar pretty uh, pretty crafty if you ask me because it encourages you to upgrade to the extra bits rather than buy the the sidewalls and the front panel up front we bought the drifter super peg set of poles so four upright poles and the two spreader bars and they've got the improved spigot the improved bent spigot so they're not going to fly off in, in it no matter how heavy the weather is that, that's been a really good set and I think if you're buying the tent um, that, that's a really good way to upgrade the poles without buying this, the other bits and pieces. So if you're just thinking how do I make that space out the front more rugged and durable and better use, better usable, then I recommend getting that drifter set of poles. Another great thing about the drifter poles is that if you're smart you can use the same, same tent peg to go through the floor saver, through the tent pole for the upright and through the loop for the side wall or the front and the front so here if I was smart I could have put that one tent pole through all four of those things to hold the front in place but I didn't quite line it up this time but you get the idea that the tent pole leg being able to peg through is a really handy addition um, and it just yeah economy of effort when you're putting them together I guess another benefit is is you're creating almost another room to your tent but you haven't got any more guy ropes to go with it so I guess that's an advantage in itself that when you carry these with you there's not a whole lot of extra poles like you would with another normal annex or another gazebo or anything like that it's all just within the same structure so I don't think that's mentioned enough either. In Australia on sale they go for between two and three hundred dollars for the set of side panels and the front and that's a lot for most people you know you've already spent quite a lot on this tent um, I recommend getting the fly and the floor saver which I'll talk about in a sec but it's I think you really got to have a use case or a purpose that you want to get this upgrade for your tent so for example if you just want a bit of extra privacy to your outdoor part then the side walls I think would be excellent and with the canvas closed not with the canvas open like I said, I don't know if you get much value out of having the, the mesh wall and then just the side walls. I think having the mesh on the side is only a benefit if you plan to put on the, the front panel. So with, when you put on the front panel, you can create like a sunroom or you can fully board it up and create like a bunker down kind of, you know, uh, really weatherproof kind of area or semi weatherproof area we haven't done it here we haven't pulled out the extra awning because we've got the fire pit down here um, and it's just we didn't want to ruin the, the outlook of the beautiful creek over here but I think that's a really cool thing to do so in that case you know closing up the side walls of the side but leaving this as a mesh front and then having another awning you've got your outdoor area you've got your kind of sheltered semi outdoor indoor area before you get to kind of the fully enclosed sleeping quarters of the tent and I think that's a really excellent way to use it for families almost finished high five high five oh cheeky there's something really beautiful about the simplicity of the 30 second part of this tent and that you know you, you fold it up you throw it away if you stop starting all the time then I wouldn't overcomplicate it much more than that so by the time you add all this stuff on it starts to get pretty hefty you know you've got you've got the the pretty big pack up anyway like long two meter length and then you're adding these extra bits by having the floor saver the fly and the side walls and the front I recommend to most people the floor saver because you're going to have a nicer time when you're under the awning and you're going to have a nicer time when you pack up in the morning and everything's wet so get the get the floor saver I reckon if you're getting one of these tents and I'd also get the fly the fly protects you from the weather keeps it cooler inside and makes the tent last a lot longer so I reckon that's important too and then I think if you're going to get the side walls in the front I think you should have a good reason to do it because the outdoor area of that tent is kind of 
one of the best parts of it. So when you start closing in, in I think you'll lose some of the essence of having this great tent. You can also get a few other things which I haven't explored like a side awning and also uh, a caravan connector, a little bit of fabric that connects this part to, a, to another Oz tent or to a, to a caravan or trailer. Um, so we don't have a need for that stuff but down the track maybe I'll be able to talk about that too. If you need a bit more space to sleep one more or if you've got a young one rolling around and you want to protect them from bugs or if you just want some semi protection or some versatility more versatility with the tent then the sidewalls and the front panel could be for you but i wouldn't overcomplicate it unless you really know that you've got a reason to do it we love this tent thanks for watching guys and let me know if you've got any questions Good job, hon. Huh?